everybody, I'm back. Everybody, Jeannie Young is back, and I'm back with yet another amazing recipe. I am so excited today, because today at the Young's house, Gina Young is gonna share with you all how to make pea salad. Have you ever heard of it? Have you ever tasted it? If you've never tasted this before, you are in for a treat. It's so easy, it's delicious. It does not require a lot of ingredients, and you know, make a Gina Young style, it's gonna be so tasty. You all never had my pea salad before. You better make you some. Here are the lovely ingredients you will need. You're gonna need our star, which is the peas. Now, when we talk about the peas, you do not wanna use the kind of peas that are in the can. It will not be good in this recipe. You wanna get some frozen peas. So I have two bags of frozen peas, and you wanna thaw them out. And all you have to do with thaw them out is just put them on your counter for a couple hours, okay? So we have two bags of peas, and we have a red onion. I highly suggest when you make this recipe, use the red onion, because it's gonna make this really nice and vibrant. You're gonna need some ranch powder seasoning, and you will need some sharp cheddar. You cannot make this recipe without shredded sharp cheddar. You're gonna need some mayo. And I highly suggest not using something like Miracle Whip. Miracle Whip is a little too sweet. So get you some real mayonnaise. Today I'm gonna be using the Dukes. You're gonna need some black pepper and also some bacon. Bacon, bacon, bacon. We're gonna use about five or six pieces in this recipe. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Oh, one more ingredient. We're gonna use some boiled eggs, four to five boiled eggs. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this really quick and simple, yet so tasty recipe. Okay, everyone, so one of the first things that I wanna do is I wanna to start to cook up my bacon. I wanna get this bacon nice, golden brown, and crispy. Okay, now how I'm gonna cook mine is I'm gonna throw it in the oven today, okay? I don't want any splattering on top of my stove, but you can cook yours on top of your stove if you like. All right, so I normally typically use between four and five pieces. I'll probably make a little more because I can never ever make bacon without eating at least one or two pieces. <laughs> I hope you all are having an amazing day today. Happy Memorial Day to every one of you, your family and friends and your loved ones. Happy Memorial Day. Is anyone doing anything special today? Let me know in the comment section below. I know we're gonna cook on the grill here at the Young's house and I'm so excited. I got a rack of ribs, I got some hot sausage, so we got a couple of things going on today. All right, so I'm just putting my bacon on here. For some reason, when I do my bacon, I like to crinkle it up. I know a lot of you say, Gina, why do you do that? It's just something I like to do. I don't like to lay it flat. You can, but I just like to crinkle it up for whatever reason. Okay, so I have my oven preheated to 300 and 75 degrees, that's the temperature that we're gonna cook this on. When it gets nice and golden brown, we're gonna drain it, I'll be right back. Okay everyone, so while our bacon cooks up, let's go ahead and take this time to chop up this onion. You don't need a lot, you do not need a lot. Okay, this is a large onion that I'm gonna use, but I'm not gonna use a whole lot. Okay, so let's get this sliced up, just like so. You don't wanna overwhelm this dish with the red onion, but you wanna use enough so you can taste it. This is a very important ingredient, and you wanna be able to see that beautiful color going all throughout your pea salad. It's beautiful outside, it's in the 80s here, and I just felt like salad today. Salad is definitely on the menu. Okay, so now that I have my slices, I'm just gonna come across just this way. And I don't want huge pieces either. When you make a nice salad, you don't want very huge pieces of onion. So chop it, really take the time to chop it down as much as you can. Okay, just like so. This onion was previously in the refrigerator, so I'm hoping that it will not make me cry, as they typically do. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go across this onion several times so I can really chop it down. And I feel like I have just a little too much onion, so I'm not gonna use all of this, but the rest of this onion will be used 
for an omelet possibly in the morning. I'm not gonna throw it away. Finish chopping this up, I'll be right back. Okay everyone, so I've peeled up some eggs. Let's get them nice and chopped up. Okay, so I'm just gonna take my paring knife. I've already peeled them and rinsed them off. I'm just gonna do just like so. And honestly, don't chop them too small. You wanna be able to see these eggs in your recipe. Okay, just like this will do the trick. Beautiful, you can still see those gorgeous egg yolks. You can still see the white. It makes the salad nice and beautiful. How many of you have ever heard of pea salad before? Let me know in the comment section below if you've tasted it before. A lot of people has never heard of it. This is something that I grew up on and it is absolutely amazing. Lots of fun to eat, especially when it's nice outside. You know, perfect day, today's Memorial Day. This is that perfect salad that you're gonna want. Beautiful. All right, so now that our eggs are almost chopped up, we'll get to start mixing up all of our ingredients. I gotta really keep an eye on my bacon. My bacon is just about done. I wanna get that bacon nice, beautiful, and golden brown and crispy. This is not a recipe where you cook your bacon to where it's still a little bit chewy. Make it crispy. All right, now I've made this recipe before, but only I didn't use bacon. And what, I, what do I think about that? Well, I think they both are delicious. Whether you use the bacon or not, delicious. You don't have to use the bacon. And those of you that are not fans of pork, guess what you can use? Use just some turkey bacon. Get it nice and crispy, it's gonna be delicious. Okay, so now I wanna take these eggs, and we're just gonna get them into this bowl, just like so. And when I come back, we're gonna mix up our gorgeous salad. Ooh, I'm excited. Okay, everyone, so I'm trying to figure out what bowl I wanna use. I have a big bowl and I have a medium bowl. Let's start out by putting our peas into the bowl. And if we have any water from the peas um, falling out, then we'll drain the water, okay? Oh, definitely, I'm gonna need to use this other bowl. I can see it's gonna get nice and full once we start to put everything in. So let's go ahead and switch right now. Cause I don't wanna have a hard time once I start to mix everything up. Now these bags are 12 ounce bags. Anytime I make pea salad, I always use two bags. I really could honestly use three bags cause this salad, everyone loves it. The adults, the kids love it and it goes really quickly. So if you want to double the batch, just, you know, just double your ingredients, just like so. Now we're going to use a cup of the mayonnaise, but let's talk about the mayonnaise really quickly. I don't highly suggest, I do not suggest that you use a sweet mayonnaise. I know I mentioned it earlier, but I just want to say it again. Using a sweet mayonnaise will give this recipe a different taste. It's not supposed to be sweet. Okay, so that's why I'm using the Duke's mayonnaise. If you're a person that just, you just love Miracle Whip and that's what you want to use, well, go ahead. <laughs> okay, so um, now you want to make this creamy, but you don't want it to be too creamy. Have you all ever had something like macaroni salad or potato salad and it's just way too creamy? You put as much mayo as you would like to have in yours so you and your loved ones can enjoy it okay so now that i have my two bags and i don't have any liquid i'm very happy i'm pleased the peas are nice and thawed out we're going to put around about a half a cup to a cup of shredded sharp cheddar in i suggest using the sharp cheddar it's going to give you that best taste that we're looking for get you some in there don't, don't be shy just like so Beautiful, look at the colors. It's just gorgeous already, right? Okay, so my bacon is done. Let's go ahead, get the eggs in, just like so. All right, and we're gonna put some pepper in. We're not gonna use salt. The reason why we're not gonna use salt is because we're gonna use this ranch packet and we know that there is some salt in here so you don't need it, but you will need some pepper. Pepper for sure. Don't be afraid to season. You want anything that you make, even if it's a salad, to have nice seasoning. Okay, so then we're gonna put 
our whole packet of ranch powder in. When I use two bags, I always use one whole packet. If you don't want to use the whole packet, then that's okay. It's definitely okay. There are different name brands of this uh, ranch seasonings. There's some with dill flavor. There's some with bacon. Get whatever kind that you love. It's still going to be delicious. Okay, so now we have our peas. We have our shark cheddar. We've got our eggs, our pepper, and our ranch. I need to check on my bacon, get it out the oven, and I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, let's finish up this beautiful salad. So now that my bacon has been drained on a paper towel and it's cooled down enough so I can handle it, let's go ahead and chop it up. You know, honestly, you can crinkle it up in your hands if you wanted to. Okay, see how it's beautiful, nice and crispy. That's what I'm wanting. Little pieces all throughout. Make sure you use about four or five pieces. You want a bite of that bacon with every bite of the salad that you take. Absolutely. Oh, I can't wait. It's been a couple of years since I've had this and my mouth is watering already and my stomach is rumbling. Let me know anytime during this recipe if your mouth starts watering and your stomach starts rumbling. Oh, this is one recipe you want to make for your family and friends and all of your loved ones. Let's get that bacon right into our salad here just like so beautiful and you don't want to overwhelm it with bacon but put enough so you can have a taste in every bite like i said okay so i do want to take a paper towel clean up my cutting board really quickly i'll do that right now salad is smelling so good all of those beautiful flavors marrying together that ranch powder is my secret the ranch powder is my secret for this recipe all right, and also the sharp cheese. You gotta use sharp cheese. I can't stress it enough. Get as much onions as you like. Ah, I think that's enough right there. I'm happy with that. Now I'm gonna go in and I really wanna fold everything. Don't be, come on guys, don't be rough. You all know how to be gentle, right? I know you do. Come on, so we're gonna fold it just like this. Don't go in mixing it because you'll smash your peas, you'll smash your eggs, and then it won't look as appetizing. You want this to look appetizing. Okay, so we're just gonna fold it well till everything gets incorporated. We really wanna mix in that ranch powder and that black pepper, you know, so you don't have just a mouthful of the ranch or the black pepper alone. Beautiful, it smells so good. I am a true fan of fresh peas that are cold and they haven't been cooked before. Like if I have a salad, what I love on a salad is fresh peas, mushrooms and eggs and French dressing. That's the perfect salad for me. When I think of what kind of salad does Gina Young like? Has to have fresh peas, has to have boiled eggs and French dressing. That's all I need. I can eat a couple of those salads in one setting. All right, just like so everything has been mixed up. So now we're going to eyeball the mayonnaise because I know exactly how much I'm going to need. You always want to start off with a little bit. Starting off with a little bit is going to really help you because if you ever put too much in, you can never take away from. So start off with a little bit, you can always add to. So once again, we're gonna go in and we're going to fold it until we get everything nice and incorporated. Now there's a couple other ingredients you can use if you like, and that would be, you can put about one fourth of a cup of sour cream in here oh definitely and then also you could put a little bit of sugar in here if you wanted to but i'm not gonna this is how i like mine all right see how you can see the consistency and see if you're happy with the consistency right now so i see that it needs some more mayonnaise so go ahead and get you some more in all right just like so beautiful we're gonna stir it once again until you're happy with the consistency. Remember, don't put too much in in the beginning. Start off with a little bit and add to. All right, I'm gonna to continue to mix this up, everyone, and I'll be right back. 
Okay, everyone, our salad is nice and mixed up. I do want to transfer bowls, so let's do that now. Listen here, everybody. If you all enjoyed this here video, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time Gina Young uploads one of these awesome recipes. Tell your family and friends and everybody you know, tell the whole world about Gina Young and what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. Okay, so let's get, this is a heavy bowl, my goodness. Let's get it right into this nice bowl here. All right. Because we use this bowl for mixing. I don't want to have to go in with a paper towel and wipe it down to look presentable. So we put it in a nice clean bowl. I don't mind rinsing this one out. Nice and beautiful. Here in a second, I'm going to say a prayer. And we're going to dive in. Beautiful. Look at this presentation. Gorgeous. Pea salad, Gina Young style. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we want to thank you for another day. Lord, we thank you for your love time, your mercy, and your understanding. Please forgive us for our sins. Come into our hearts. We make you our Lord and Savior. Send your angels down to surround us day and night and your Holy Spirit to help us make good decisions. Give us peace over our mind in the name of Jesus. We pray that no weapons formed against us shall prosper. And we bind the devil away from us in the name of Jesus. Devil, you have no authority over this family in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the roof over our head, the food, the love, the peace and the joy that you bring us every day. We thank you. Amen. When I come back, we're going to take a bite. Okay, everyone, take a look at this beautiful pea salad. Nice and refreshing. This is definitely a palate cleanser. Make you some. Gina Young style. Amen. Once again to my beautiful prayer. And once again, I like to say happy Memorial Day to everyone out there. Okay, let's dive in. I can't wait any longer. I have a couple of forks and spoons here. I'm going right in into this bowl. I'm not gonna double dip. That's why I have several forks and spoons. Come on, guys. All right, look at this. I want you all to take a bite and let me know what you think about this. Oh, listen, it's so good. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. on, that's good. Mm. Right away, you got those sweet peas. You got that nice, beautiful red onion. You got that sharp cheese that kind of gets you back here. The perfect amount of mayo. The bacon is nice and crispy. It lets off an amazing flavor. The pepper in that ranch packet. Listen here, don't forget those eggs. I'm going in for another taste. I'm using a different utensil. Mm, it's so good. Come on guys, take one more bite with me. Mm. Mm -hmm. And as always, God bless you all. Thank you all for watching. Good night. Mm -hmm.